Hey Rider Reelers, JC here with Rider Reeling Fishing. I got me a new fishing bike, you guys. Let me get off this thing. I'm gonna tell you about it. What we have here is the Hovsko Hob Alpha. Yeah, a friend of mine reached out to me from this company, asked me if I'd like to try out one of their bikes, and I'm like, well, heck yeah, I wanna try out one of your bikes. So where we're at today, guys, we're out here at a lake that I have not fished this lake in like two years the reason why i didn't fish this lake is because the place that i used to enter the lake they put up no trespassing signs it was behind a shopping center but there's another entrance where it's right it's not marked no trespassing so anyway guys i'm like this bike is going to be perfect for getting back into that lake that i wanted to fish that they shut me out of two years ago so here i am we're going to do a little bass fishing and uh while we're out here bass fishing guys i'm going to tell you about the new hovsko Hob, Hob Alpha bike that I've got here. This thing is awesome. I'm probably gonna put in some footage of when I, I've been riding this bike for several days now. Just having a good old time, guys. This thing is an absolute blast. It's called an electric bike, an e-bike, but it also has pedals. So you can run it on electric or you can run it on pedals or you can run it on both. It's a pedal assist bike. Let me get rigged up. We're gonna do some bass fishing here. I am so excited, guys. This is the Bass Factory. Let me show you this. I don't know if you got how long you guys have been on the channel, but two years ago, right here, guys, there's a super deep hole right here. And this lake is giant, right? But this spot right here is where the bass pile up. I don't know what it is. It's that deep water or whatever. But there's also about an eight foot long alligator that hangs out here. I saw him when I came out here scouting the other day just to make sure I'd be able to come back in here. And I am so excited. But look what I did, guys. I rigged this thing up with a little uh, uh, fishing rod holder back here. I actually have a rack then i'm getting on gonna get on the bike when i when i ordered the bike i ordered the fenders were accessories here and here and there's also a rack it's supposed to be coming in on tuesday today's saturday so i got a couple of days oh i got to turn this thing off but look guys we got a display up here it's probably blinking to you it doesn't blink to me it's it's solid guys the natural eye but it's got the different settings for your electric part of the bike and also how many miles it took me 10 miles to get over here in traffic it was insane and also the miles per hour guys so let me get this thing shut off right here and shut this thing off here this is your uh increasing the electricity this is how you you make it go by electricity i added this little mirror here so i don't anyway all right you know enough about the bike for now i gotta get rigged up so we can do some fishing i'm fishing with six pound test today so pretty darn excited baby so i just brought my backpack along the bike today the way that i rigged this i've got a a bullet weight on here and i've also got a bobber stop these are like a a watermelon fleck colored worm they work really good in this lake from what i remember all right here we go we're gonna have to set the hook hard so i got my my light set up today it's a 2000 size reel with six pound test all right guys here we go first cast i am so excited to be back here at this lake i had to drive in a lot of traffic to get here but you guys can see that i'm being safe on the bike i'm wearing my helmet and i've also got a vest that i'm using but so the other day this is an all-terrain bike right the other day i took it out on the beach just to see how well that it was due because Look, if we didn't have red tide, I'd be out pompano fishing right now on the beach. I'm telling you, that's where I would be, or I'd be out chasing sheep's head somewhere. But the red tide is really bad right now. But I took it out on the beach, you guys, and it performed really, really good in the medium soft sand that you find in a lot of beaches and right along the shore where the sand is packed in tight. Now, I did take it in some of that really, really super, super soft sugar sand. Yeah, didn't do so well in that. I was fishtailing. It was hard to control. But in the regular beach sand, oh, guys, I rode it all over the place. I had a blast out there riding this thing. And yeah, no hits on the first cast. All righty. Here we go. I think all we have to do is find these fish. I, they they got to be here somewhere, guys. They always hung out in this area right here. One of the things that concerns me is I saw there's a guy that's living back here. And, uh, yeah, he's got a whole tent camp set up and everything. He's probably out here fishing every day. 
Yeah, so this it's an all-terrain bike, right? So I had to ride through a bunch of traffic to get here. And I rode through a bunch of woods to get back in here, too, which is pretty cool. You know, I can go... I mean, if I decide to go hunting, right, I can take this thing hunting. All I have to do is get a rack for my truck that fits the hitch, stick the bike up there. I'll be able to take this thing, just sneak right up to my stand, be nice and quiet. And guys, the thing is green, right? Oh, was that a hit? But it has what's called a, a, a torque assist on it. So... The bike will do about 20 miles an hour, just straight electric. It has two settings, a class two and a class three setting. So the class two setting, straight electric, you can run it at like 20 miles an hour, right? The class three setting, <laughs> this thing will do 28 miles an hour, but that's when you're pedaling it, right? You got to pedal pretty fast to get it to do 28 miles an hour, but it will do 28 miles an hour. Doggone it, no freaking hits in my favorite bass fishing spot unbelievable come on dude I know they're here they're always here in this spot they're always here well we're, we're gonna get one today we're gonna get one today just got to figure out the right pattern that's all just got to figure out the right pattern once we figure out the pattern the color worm that they want and where they're at We'll get one. If by chance I don't get one, it is a beautiful Southwest Florida evening. So I've been riding this bike all over the place, trying it out, guys. The brakes are absolutely phenomenal. You can be running 20 miles an hour and just hit the brakes. They're actually, they're disc brakes. So, I, look, I don't know a lot of the technical things about this bike. I definitely put a link in the description area. You guys can head over to Hobsco and check out everything they have to offer, right? There are a lot of different bikes that they have over there. And they got the specifications on this one. I mean, I can pull out my phone a little while. I give you guys some of the, the specs. But the brakes work really, really good. No hits, no hits. Oh, no. I don't know. Maybe I need to take this weight off there. Let's let's move down this way and see if we can find them down this way a little bit. They, they might be fishing in the wrong area. So this bike is pretty heavy, right? I mean, it's somewhere around I think it's somewhere around 70 pounds. So with that weight, and it's also a four inch fat tire bike. So with the weight and those fat tires, this bike is super balanced, you guys. And uh, very, very easy to ride. From a stop, all I have to do is just like push the pedal. And when you push the pedal, it actually kicks in the, uh, the torque, the electricity of the torque motor and uh it will assist you right so like the other day when i was riding up the really big hills whenever you pedal if you've ever ridden like a 10 speed you know you're like in second gear right so i was riding along in like fifth gear on this bike and i started riding up one of those big hills that i was riding up and all of a sudden the oh was that a hit no all of a sudden the uh the pedal assist kicks in the electricity and it literally feels like pedaling up and up a hill it's effortless it feels like you're in like second gear on a 10 speed i mean i wasn't breaking a sweat at all running up those hills and what i love about it is if you want to get exercise you can pedal it right if you want to take a break from pedaling you can just go straight electricity no problem at all Guys, we should have caught one by now. So peaceful and quiet out here. So 
So let me get back to the bike, guys. It is a four inch, 20, it's, it's a 26 inch, four inch tires. They're called fat tires. And uh, they got some really nice knobby treads on them. Rides really smooth. It's actually got shock absorbers in the front of the bike. It doesn't have shock absorbers in the back. So, but Havisco does, they do make a bike that has shocks on the back. So, and also on the front, right? Front and back. Like I said, you can head over there and check out. They have a lot of different e-bikes to choose from. This one right here is absolutely awesome. We need to change the worm because I have not had a hit. All right, guys, I am changing to a green and white worm with some like pepper mixed in with it. I'm gonna try this. I cannot believe I have not had a hit yet. This is ridiculous. Dude, like I used to come to this lake and the first freaking cast I'd get them on. I mean, that quick. Dude, there's a massive alligator that lives in this lake. He is giant. I said he's like eight foot long. He might even be bigger than that. Seems to me like when I was fishing here before, I was doing like a series of one, two, three, four, five, and then I just let it fall back down to the bottom. An old technique that like I learned from Bill Dance or Roland Martin like years ago. Oh, I just saw him grab it. There he is. Got him. <laughs> All right. First trip on the bike, guys. We got us a bass. Don't you love it? Woohoo, baby. All right. Nice. He ain't a giant, right? I saw him grab it right there, man. I was just pulling it through the weeds, and wham, little guy got it. Thanks for the catch, man. See ya. Oh, get in the water. Nice. Heck yeah. That's the way we do it. So I got the, the Toyota, the Tundra, but it's not four wheel drive. So I don't think I could drive it back in here. There's some really, really narrow areas. It'd be, it'd be pretty sketchy getting my truck back in here. So I pretty much wrote this lake off. I didn't think I'd ever fish back here again, but look at that. My Hav Alpha bike got me back here. So, I hope we get another fish here. This bike, it's seven speeds. You know, like your 10 speed bikes, have you had the derailleur and the, the, the gear changer? Well, this got a, a knob where you, you up here on the handlebars where you increase the gears. And it's also got a place where you can decrease the gears as well. And then the electric assist has five different um, propulsion speeds on it. So if you want the electricity, like if you're pedaling and you want the electricity to really like kick in with a pretty good jolt, you put it on level five for the electric part. But if you don't want it to kick in and like really, really give you a good jolt, you can put it on like level one. Yeah, maybe we'll get us a fish here. Maybe we'll get us another bass. Dude, I should really be crappie fishing right now. This lake right here has got some serious crappie in it. So on that gear, the gear changer on the bike, back on the gears where all the gears on the back tire, back there, the front tire is removable. It's got an easy remove uh, mechanism on it. But that back area, the derailleur, there's actually a guard that I put on. It came from the company with the bike to protect that der derailleur in case the bike ever falls over. Um, it won't damage it. Dude, there's got to be another one down here. Got to be another one over here. So this bike is really easy to charge. It's got a removable lithium battery. That's a pretty good sized battery, right? But one of the features you've got here is you've got a light inside of the battery. So if you ever break down at night, you need to fix your bike. You've got a built-in light 
and also if you need to use it for like an emergency signal the light you can it's got a mode on there where it will actually blink but i suppose if you're out camping or whatever you need an extra light you'd have plenty of lithium battery power to keep that thing powered you know as long as you would need it to be powered right the company says that like for pedal assist that this bike will go 80 miles on one charge of that battery and if you're just running straight electric it'll go up to 60 miles so that's pretty incredible the furthest that i've taken it is about 30 miles uh like on one battery charge no problem at all but you can remove the battery you can charge the battery with it in the bike or you can take it out and uh, charge it that way i have to take it out because i live upstairs it makes the bike lighter for me to carry it up the stairs you know what guys I, I hate to cut this adventure short, but this guy that's living back here in the tent, he's actually, he's walking around. He's coming this way towards me. And I'm just, I, I'm not comfortable with this situation. No, no idea why the dude's living back here in a tent. And uh, so I'm actually going to pack it up and um, get out of here. There was a lake on the way back that I wanted to fish. So... Let's load everything up and let's get the hang out of here. Dude, I could just get me a, a bike rack that'll handle a 70 pound electric bike. Put it on the hitch of my truck and I'd be good to go. We'll be ready to conquer the freaking world, baby. All right, guys, before I get out of here, I decided to, to stop you. Dude, that, that guy came over there to where I was fishing so fast. That's, that's creepy, man. It really creeped me out. Yeah, this whole lake, I mean, it goes around the corner. It comes back here. It goes all the way around there. The dude saw me when I, when I came in. He was over here fishing. And then he left. He went back to his camp. And then he came back. And then I saw him just like, dude, he was coming around the lake really fast. And I knew he was coming right over there where I was fishing. I'm just like, uh, you know what? I'm just, I'm not okay with it. I might have to just open carry a firearm back in here next time. We're allowed to do that, you know. When we go, we go hunting and, and uh, fishing and camping, we can open carry a firearm. Here we go. Just kick it, and there we go. Off to the races, baby. Don't you love it? Look at this. See, I couldn't get bring my truck back through here. It'd get all, all scratched up. This area back in here, is, this access is so, so narrow. This right here is a little bit scary. All right, let's get out of here. Woohoo! Oh yeah, guys, this bike is so much fun. I'm telling you, woohoo! I'm gonna stop right here. The sun's going down pretty quick, guys. But check it out. Isn't that an awesome looking bike? I know I've been showing you some B-roll shots, but we got reflectors right here. We got a light in the front. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the light on because it is starting to get dark. So we just push this button right here, hold it down. And uh, now we got the light on in the front. And back here in the back, show you guys, we got a, a small red light back here. Let's push that dude and it'll come on and uh my helmet back here i think i just have to push that and it should have came on i heard it click but oh yeah baby check it out Woohoo! my new fishing bike absolutely love it so guys you can see right here these are the disc brakes i was talking about here hydro they said or i don't know i was watching a video the guy said they were hydraulic disc brakes but these shocks are actually adjustable. You can adjust the tension here. And here you can lock them in so you don't have shock absorbers. But you got front shocks. There's your derailleur system, the guard that I was talking about. And uh, your battery, your battery goes right in here. This is your battery. And you got a key over here. You just put your key in there and that's how you release the battery to get it out. But smooth ride guys, really, really smooth ride. Um, I'm foot, five foot six inches tall um, on the website her actually I think on the app they've got some height recommendations so 
Anyway, all right, let's get to moving. The sun's going down quick. I gotta get over here in this bike lane. As soon as I get a safe shot at it, there we go. So guys, these handles on these handlebars, the rubber part, they are really, really comfortable. It fits your hand nice. They got this little extra support area where the handle kind of jogs out. And it's really nice when you're riding and you're just leaning forward, you get that extra support on your hands right here. This digital display is probably flashing, but to the natural eye, it doesn't flash. Right now, I'm just pedaling along in seventh gear really pretty effortlessly. I'm running 14 miles an hour, but if I really kick it hard, this thing will get up to 28 miles an hour. 23, 24, 25. Yeah. Love it. Feel like you're going fast now? I do. I'm flying, baby. All right, guys, I'm getting close to the lake that I wanted to fish. It looks like the sun has gone completely down. I'm really, I'm glad that I left when I did. Be safer to not be driving when it's completely dark, you know? This is the lake right here. I've always wanted to just swing in here and see if there were any fish. I'm going to make a, make a few casts here with my, my awesome new fishing hat. <laughs> see if we catch anything but real quick guys I, I want to pull up the app on this bike give you guys some specifics here all right guys so i'm looking i'm looking at the app here let me give you some specifics it's got a shimano seven speed shifter it goes up to 28 miles an hour it has an 80 to 60 mile range i already told you guys that uh, let me see there's another area where i can click here and, oh here we go the uh, the motor is 750 it says 750 w i'm gonna guess 750 watts 960 wh battery so it's a lithium battery i don't know if that means 960 watts um let's see as far as like the actual person the height range is five foot three to six foot two and it's got a 450 pound payload capacity so like i said guys um Hobsco, they have got a lot of different bikes, so make sure you check the click the link in the description area. And now let me take a few casts here, and then I'm going to get out of here. There are lakes all over the place. I could do this with this bike. Just ride around and pond hat. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that nice little swirl right there. I guess ride around and pond hop from place to place. Oh, dude! I threw it right in the tree. Are you kidding me? Oh, almost got it out. All right, I broke my line. I'm done. That's it. One of the things I didn't mention is these. This bike has got smooth welds. You can see that they sand them down really nice. Beautiful paint job on this bike. Oh, it rides so easy. I'm having so much fun on this bike. Literally, I didn't think I'd had had this much fun. My accountant told me to get one. She said you will absolutely love it, and she was right. But oh man, this baby, it's looking good, man. The sun's gone down. You got that that nice light after the sun goes down. You know, you can see there we got the light on in the back. And get this guy turned on here. Get my front light turned on. You'll be able to see that front light. Come on. There we go. Got our display. Got our front light on. There we go. And you can see that. See that front light gives off pretty good light. This front light is, is also adjustable here. Um, it doesn't seem like it adjusts straight down, but it does adjust, so gets the job done. I'm loving it, guys. Absolutely loving it. All right, listen, guys, I'm going to put links in the description area to Hobsco. You can go over there and check out everything they have to offer. Thanks, Hobsco, for sending over the bike. Absolutely love it, you guys. We're going to be making some more fishing content with this bike. Definitely, it's going to be a fish catching machine. So, thanks for watching. Thumbs up or appreciate it. Everybody, Get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya!